peace love and light scorpios hope the sun is shining wherever you are hope you're living in the, your greatest greatest purpose let's get into your messages okay scorpios happy winter solstice officially the divine is saying it is time hmm. scorpios i don't know why i'm hearing this i'm hearing it's time to expose them it's time to expose them it's like there's something that's being done there's something that's happening there's some work that's being done light workers are doing their work messengers are doing their messages and healers are healing it's like alchemists are alchemizing and i'm just hearing it's time to expose them they're he they're being exposed at this time and it may be uh it's time to expose those forces that have hidden in the darkness it's time to expose those forces that have so long you know it's like they went and did their thing and then they hid their hands and then they wiped it clean so that no one would see it's time to expose them that's what i'm hearing it's time to expose them it's time to bring them to light okay it's time to expose them so there may actually be something that you're wanting to bring about uh, it's time to expose them this this them scorpios this may relate to the people in your life the karmics those that have come and you know they did their deed and hid their hands messages for scorpio Exposing these individuals is going to mean a lot for the chosen. Okay, there may be a king of pentacles involved. Someone who's a boss of some sort. Hmm. Someone you turned your back on. And I'm here, someone they turn their back on you. Someone that may be seeing you succeed in this cycle. There may have been something that happened with this person, some kind of struggle that you experience. <laughs> A clash of egos, someone trying to assert their power on you. Okay, Scorpios. The divine may want you to expose the truth, um, perhaps through your work, perhaps through what you do. Perhaps the divine wants you to speak on it, okay? Perhaps you're gaining the inner knowledge, inner knowing to know that there's something that you need to speak on, something that took place perhaps that you didn't speak on previously perhaps the divine is saying you know to expose this expose that expose that experience okay i see the two of wands two of swords rather all right let's see what this hierophant is trying to say and i'm getting that this hierophant is you your spiritual knowing your evolution confirm this is scorpio spirit confirm the higher fence is scorpio okay yes mm. okay so the higher front is you okay the higher front is you and i'm also getting that uh mm, there you go if that's not confirmation, don't know what is. And this is absolutely a as above, so below energy. 
uh, a balancing of divine feminine and masculine energy you're receiving revelations scorpios you get to know that there are a lot of things that like that happened in your life previously that you may have questioned as to whether or not what you saw was actually happening was actually happening like i'm getting this image of someone that may have had someone that may have had someone that you know that you work with or you work for and this person was being like very manipulating uh egotistical in their feelings really like kind of like very much ruling with ego okay uh very money hungry kind of person and perhaps you work with this person and this person um a lot of the deeds a lot of the things that they did um they basically stepped over you in order for them to get what they want and they did it in such a way where it's like you really had to have the spiritual eye to to really see what was going on and there was a time when this was actually happening and you were kind of like do i see what i think i see is this what i actually see like am i really seeing this person like really trying to play me for a fool type of thing like is this person like really thinking they don't see and it's like you had this moment in your life where you may have doubted what you saw you may have doubted what you think you know and right now the divine is saying you have known okay you have known and it is time for you to expose the truth of what you've always known okay and take it as it resonates for some of you this may mean actually you know using your throat chakra to speak on what you know okay and the divine is saying by doing this part of what you're doing is you are acknowledging your power you're putting truth to power and the more you do this your third eye chakra becomes elevated your throat chakra becomes enhanced and you're better able to speak the truth and expose the very beings that need to be exposed and bring the truth to light the divine is saying that there is a balance that is happening in the universe there's a balance that is happening in your life specifically this hierophant and the priestess represents this balance as above so below energy and the divine is saying that in order for you to attain this balance alchemize and become your highest self part of what you get to do is expose those who have who may have tried hiding in the dark you know they they may have stepped on you treated you like a subordinate and yet acted like nothing happened and and acted like the fool you know played it off sort of thing refusing to acknowledge the truth okay this cup represents the cup of truth this person was not willing to acknowledge the truth this is someone that that acted like nothing happened and in your life scorpios what you've often find is that a lot of people were not willing to admit the truth of what they were doing to you so this is part of your healing process is to expose them all okay expose them all take it as it resonates whatever it means to you for some of you this means acknowledging that you know that what you saw what you thought is actually what it is that's a form of exposing them okay that's a form of exposing them exposing them can also be speaking on it okay speaking on it writing it journaling it acknowledging it to yourself okay acknowledging that whatever it is that took place made you feel some type of way and it's like it wasn't just you being in your feelings all those times you know folks were doing stuff this is part of how you expose them all the divine is saying expose them all the full card yep the divine is wanting you to have peace and balance and part of what you get to know and many of you are going through your healing process at this time and and for for some of you 
again like some of these like these readings are really timeless you get to know that this is this is this may be past present and future this may be telling you it more it may be foreshadowing something that is going to happen okay uh and it may be something that has happened and for some of you it may be something that is happening the divine is saying whatever it is that is being revealed to you it is meant to bring you balance and peace at this time it is meant to allow you to alchemize and you know turn whatever energy that may come towards you to disrupt your energy and turn it into something else and you can see here this is an energy of balance as well this is also an energy of alchemizing this is part of why you get to expose these things expose them all expose them all there are some things that you may not have been able to explain then that you can explain now. You have a certain level of certainty, a, a certain level of confidence that you may not have had previously. You've got this boldness of the energy. You've got the boldness that is indicated in this full card here. You're able to teak, take, take, <laughs> all right, slow down. You're able to take a leap of faith. And know that you know because your relationship with the divine is completely different now. Okay? You're starting a new, many of you, okay, you're progressing in your walk. All right? You see this full card is showing up twice. Like this right now, confirmation is your, is your confirmation. That's exactly what it is. This is your confirmation. Okay? This is your confirmation. And it's some of these folks that literally were scheming. They were doing some stuff. And for many of you get to know that like there are still folks experiencing these things as we speak. You get to know Scorpios that not everyone has fully awakened. So for, for some of you that have, that feel like you have gone through a cycle, you've ended it. Okay. That, you know, everything is all cool. That you've gone through everything that you needed to go through. And there's no patience to hear about the things of the past or at least you perceive as being the past. You get to know that there are some folks that are literally going through these experiences as we speak. They're going through their ascension process, their awakening, and they're still having to deal with this type of shit. Okay? So the divine is saying have a little patience. Have a little patience because there's some folks still dealing with betrayal from their own family, from their own kin, from their own blood. They're dealing with curses. And it's time to expose these things. Okay? And you're getting to find out the power of the throat chakra at this time. Like, you're getting to see that as the magician, part of what gives you your power is your throat chakra energy. And this is why the divine is saying to expose what you know you know expose what the divine has confirmed that you know and this is part of what's going to bring you balance this is bringing you balance expose the truth expose it this is bringing you this this great amount of balance that you are going to experience and you know <laughs> we know scorps like you know those of us that know we know that the work is continual it's it's continual okay this energy of alchemizing all right this energy of air bending this energy of bending the elements and moving them you know in the direction that things need to go it's it's a continual process like it's it the process is not such one that you feel like you've reached you've gotten there and then you're done and this is one of the greatest mistakes that anyone can make is to believe that you have arrived. You have not arrived quite yet. Don't get too comfortable. Okay? Because the minute you get too comfortable in knowing that you have arrived, that is the minute that you will experience some of your greatest betrayal. <sighs> Look at that, the magician. And the divine is saying truth. <laughs> Look how that king of swords just got out the way. Ah, the king of swords is like, okay, let me, let me, let me get myself down here on this on this here platform and let let them know that this is the truth you get to know that this is a work in progress scorps tell me more about this two of pentacles 
expose them expose them all because this is how you get to alchemize this is how you get to get your power back look at that get that stuff out what's hidden in secret shall come into the light and look at what's on the bottom six of swords confirmation reveal that stuff expose them all so you can heal and experience this uh energy of like alchemy this energy of hmm balance my art this is my art energy yep expose them all this is the energy of my art this is speaking truth to power this is an energy of justice this is an energy of exposing the deceit trickery and lies because you got some folks who literally are still in their power okay they're doing what they're doing they have maintained their position of power and it's time for them to go it's time for them to go. It's time for the divine masculine and divine feminine to rise up and claim their place and build the families, okay? And have the stability that they were meant to. It's time to expose them all. Release, release this energy of like captivity. There's some folks that still feel like they literally that they are held captive to something they're held captive to someone they're held captive to some a place of work perhaps they're held captive to some you know someone who dictates what they do and what they say and this person whoever it is that's showing up right now maybe an earth sign you know taurus virgo capricorn energy like you know this is someone that has a lot of ego this person may actually have a lot of secrets and obsessions at the same time. Scores less. It's like all of us are work are a work in progress. Okay? All of us are a work in progress. And you get to know that as a chosen, that exposing the truth of what you see enhances your power. It enhances your third eye chakra. It enhances your root chakra, your ability to manifest what you have expose them all because it is time you know and you exposing you also get to know that you become an example for those who are looking to do the same thing and then they they may not quite know how to and take it as it resonates you exposing means different things tell me about this king of pentacles mm, problems you may have a king of pentacles in your energy that created some, you know, that, that really put a lot on your shoulders. Literally, this person kind of made you feel like, uh, like, like a horse that, that, you know, that, that, that you just put all your, all your, your suitcases and all your stuff on. And this person seemed like they were trying to give you some, they were just basically trying to treat you like this like this like this horse so to speak i know that sounds weird scorpios it's like i'm getting this image of like this horse that's trying to walk and they can barely like pick up one leg to walk because someone else has put so much like baggage on them this is someone that may have tried to like literally put a lot of baggage on you like they came with a lot of baggage and it may have been a challenge to move away from this person uh, because perhaps this person made it more challenging to move away from. There he is again. There she is again. This King of Pentacles. And I guess, and again, roles are reversed. And it may be masculine. It may be feminine. Like, it's not necessarily gender specific. It's more so about energy. This King of Pentacles made you feel stuck, trapped, bound. You get to know that this person may be actually observing you. They may be watching you. This person, in fact, has an obsession with watching you because I'm getting this energy. This may have been someone that literally wanted and that image of the horse keeps coming around. It's like this person made wanted to make you feel like like you were their mule, like literally 
they could get on you and 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 take it as a resume scorpios this is what i'm getting it's like it's like someone you know it's like they're the one riding the horse here and you're the horse and they could dictate and pull the string wherever it is that they wanted to and th that's how that's how this person was and i'm getting this energy that there was some walking away that took place i'm moving on and this person is like you know this person may have an obsession with watching what's happening with you your divine justice that you're experiencing with this person is that you're no longer stuck at this crossroad that they were trying to keep you and they're receiving news of this because they're watching you yeah this person has some kind of like sexual type of uh this person has some kind of like sexual energy towards you scorpios and it may not just be towards you this person may have a sexual addiction oh look at oh my god yes <laughs> oh my goodness okay let me stop <laughs> scorpios look at all this look at oh look at all this wand energy scorpios you got the page of wands the knight of wands the king of wands and the two of wands like can you get any more wands in one reading like literally in one hand this person seriously had a lot of i'm getting this person had a lot of sexual energy like they they were they were probably trying to do some sick stuff scorpios you know how it is or maybe you don't take it as it resonates there's someone in that energy um it may have been someone that thought that they were in a position of power and perhaps they were more powerful than you. It may not have been a, necessarily someone that you work with. It may like a, a like a supervisor of some sort. It may have been just, you know, someone in your energy that you have a past with. It may be kind of like a past, um, a past and I'm trying to use that word very carefully, like the word lover, like really. It's basically someone that you share a past with, perhaps you you had some relationship with. This three of cups is an indication of you having some relationship. <coughs> mm, throw chakra energy. Exposing the truth is works. It's work. Exposing the truth is work anything else mm, more wand energy you've turned your back on this person and it's great <laughs> i want to say it's crazy and it's like this person may be look at this literally like this is probably one of those readings where it's like almost every like wand card has come out in here the king of wands the queen of wands the page of wands here you are Scorpio someone's watching you once you've turned your back you've turned your back on this person and now you're ha experiencing all these things you know and someone thought that they that you could have been manipulated or they want to manipulate you and take it as it resonates some of you actually know that this stuff is it, it may not be your past it may be your present some of you this may be something that you foresee in a particular relationship that you're in so um listen with an a very open ear listen more with a spiritual ear okay then the, instead of focusing on what is before you and again if the message resonates you're gonna know that this is the truth king of swords is coming out anything else speak your truth scorpios because it's time to expose these people this these things speak truth to power anything else okay mm-hmm this may be a past lover it may be and i was thinking i didn't see this and it may be oh look at that i was like okay ace of wands is the only one card that i didn't get in here and here you go yeah this may be someone that wanted this with you this this wanted to be a lover this may be someone that you may have worked with you know that you may have shared a workspace with because i see the seven of pentacles this is someone that 
perhaps you know you work together you hmm uh, this person was very much everything for themselves And it seems like this person may have appeared initially to have come in this King of Cups energy. And eventually they showed that it was all about the wands. Their true colors came out. <clears throat> they, they wanted to literally bind you. Keep you stuck. Keep you stuck in the crossroads. They watched you. They wanted to keep you keep you where you at. They feel defeated now. Hmm. I'm getting that this this is an energy where it may be like different people. This strength card is showing up, maybe a, a Leo as well. Look at this backstabbing energy. <laughs> maybe a Gemini. Okay, so uh oh wow and i where did that gemini thing come from okay <laughs> maybe a gemini for some of you um and literally that came out without effort like usually i say uh air sign towards um air sign rather uh <laughs> they don't they don't want to be exposed like you have an air sign that may have done some dirt that are not trying to be exposed right now because it's like literally as soon as i say air sign and i was going to say like uh libra libra gemini aquarius it's like all of a sudden the words just like escaped so this whoever it was this air sign there may be an air sign that's not trying to get exposed for what they did to you either scorpio something something ended Feeling of destruction and being held, held back. Expose them all. Look at you, the magician. Expose them all. Okay, Scorps. Let's uh, let's see what we can, what word of wisdom we can get from the ancestors. And like, and even right now, like typically, I I, I don't pick up the cards before the reading ends i'm getting this energy like someone is really trying to cover their tracks someone actually did some stuff and they covered their tracks and this person may have even covered they they may have done some stuff to cover their tracks because they know they were dealing in some you know deceptive 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 stuff that they shouldn't have expose them all scorpio it's time to expose them all. Speak on it. Speak truth to power. Words of wisdom regarding this reading. Okay. Kaitiaki is saying something. Ten. Guardian of Papua Tanuku, and I'm also seeing Mandela of the Moon. Okay, this is number 10. Kai Tiaki is saying this. Uh, Kai Tiaki is saying, make peace and let go of past issues around being abandoned or not understood or feeling unsupported as those experiences need no longer color your worldview. Trust that you belong here and that your connection to the earth goddess will support you in all ways. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You are destined to become more spiritually intimate with the with Mother Earth. Lean into her trust and trust in her support, even at even as you serve her by courageously voicing the truth. She's your great ally, voicing the truth. Scorpios, I gotta read that again. Okay. <laughs> Search within for the ways you can express guardianship of divine feminine. Your relationship with Mother Earth is sacred, empowering, and healing. You're destined to become more spiritually intimate with her, sharing in her creative potency and wisdom. Lean into her and trust in her support, even as you serve her 
by courageously voicing truth. It's time to expose them. She's your great ally, friend, and healer. And as you dedicate yourself to her, she dedicates herself to you. Courageously voicing your truth, Scorpios. Sounds like part of that may involve exposing some some truths, bringing bringing this this energy of deviousness to light. Okay. All right, so this is Mama Killa, Mandela of the Moon. And Mama Killa, Killa is saying this. This oracle brings a sign that creative works will reach fulfillment. Relax with trust and the positive expectation that all your needs will be met. Things are changing even if you cannot see the physical evidence of this yet. Trust that your actions are leading you into a better way of life. So... <laughs> This confirms a lot of things that was said in this reading, y'all. And like, even as we spoke about these, you know, these folks that are being exposed in your life, it, it seemed like there were energies that were trying to prevent, you know, these truths from, from being exposed because they know that once they're exposed, that brings the power back in your hands and it takes it away from them because now exposing them means that they can no longer move freely and do the 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 devious things that they used to do all right scorpios that is your message if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine light